I am uh, Dr. Kajitan Tellis. I am a pediatrician working in Bangalore for the last 15 years now. There are different types of pediatric TB. The it starts from from a younger age in which uh, they get a simple TB which is called a primary complex. In that the child may have mild fever and that fever may not be there the whole day, it will just be there only in the nights. They can have some cough, some weight loss, poor appetite and uh, these are the common symptoms in the primary complex type of TB. Then there are, there is a, after some time the TB becomes worse and you get something called a endobronchial TB or a, uh, the progressive primary complex, progressive prim, uh, pulmonary disease where the, the severity in, increases because other structures are involved. So in that, but basically the symptoms are more or less the same, they have, or they have fever, they have weight loss, they have cough. So these are the common symptoms in most of the tuberculosis involving the lungs. When there is a more severe TB involving the lungs, the child can also develop features of pneumonia. That, and when there are lymph nodes which are there inside the lungs, which uh, press on the structures, they can have features similar to asthma because uh, uh, the airway gets compromised. There are, there is, when the tuberculosis affects the lymph nodes, uh, especially of the, of the neck, you can have, that is called a lymphadenopathy type of TB. There are more severe forms of TB which uh, can be there. It generally happens when the child is more immunocompromised or have, has not received the tuberculosis vaccine. So that is tuberculous meningitis, so that is one of the life-threatening diseases. So in addition to the fever and the cough, the child will have lethargy, will, may have vomiting and uh, can lose consciousness and uh, go into coma and a lot of these children can die. Then there is another type of TB called miliary tuberculosis, that is when the disease spreads via the blood and here it can spread to the entire body. So there, here again the child in, in addition to fever, weight loss, cough, etc. can also have large uh, uh, tuberculosis that affects the liver and the spleen in addition to the blood. So the child is very sick and will uh, also succumb if it is not treated very early. TB also affects the bone and the joints. Usually these are seen in the older ch older children, adolescents uh, or adults and uh, here there can be joint pain or there can be involvement of the uh, backbone, the vertebra and that can cause a deformity. One of the very rare forms of TB is when it affects the spinal cord and uh, this can sometimes lead to paralysis. So these are the most severe forms of TB.